Okay, I figure the flat surface on the top of the visor should be smooth enough. We should be okay. So what I'm talking about here is when I do this and it points down here, okay, I should be able to just Oh, shit. Got that right on the money. Yeah, okay. Might be a little parallax error from where you're looking at it, but uh, yeah, nice. Oh yeah, that's within a half a thou there. And I didn't even clean these things off, so. Uh, I'm gonna call that good. The spindle nose is what's down here now, and I've got it zeroed out, okay? So this is exactly six inches from the table. My spindle will only get within five inches to begin with. So, I found this to be the easiest, best way to do it. So, I'll zero out Mach 3 for uh, tool zero, my spindle, and that'll set my initial height. So, as you can see over here, I've got it on tool zero. There is no work offset for tool zero. So, that's my spindle, okay? I've got six inches typed in here because that's what I always use, the two-inch block with the four-inch tool setter. And typically, when you're doing a tool, you can just hit set tool offset. When that green light is on, and the tool has a tool offset, okay? So I manually had to come up in here and type six inches uh, for the spindle. Okay, now we'll uh, do another tool. Yeah, this is tool 25 for me. So in the tool number on Mach 3, I'm gonna type in tool 25. Now we'll uh, dial it down into zero. All right, there's zero. So with tool 25 in here, it now has a green light showing me that I got a work offset available, okay? It also says that my tool is 5.9981. It's almost two thousandths. Uh, it was 1.6 thou off the spindle. Not sure why, when I did it this time from when I did it yesterday, and I set two days ago, and I set the tool then anyway. Okay, but since I got the six inches typed in here, and that's what that two inch block and the four inch tool setter are, I can just come over here and I can just click on set tool offset and it automatically punches in the six inches. So now I can look here at Z offset and that tool is 3.193 inches longer than the spindle. Okay, so I don't have to deal with negative offsets. Uh, they're all positive offsets because the spindle zeroes at the table. You know, I can't get the spindle down to the table, but I can get it to six inches and I can measure that six inches accurately. And that's what we're doing. That's why I have the six inches there. I set tool zero at uh, six inches. And uh, then everything else, when I set the tools, I just type in the number. I run it down to zero on the tool setter. And then I click set tool offset and I'm good. So as you can see, I've got the Heimer here. Now there's no way to balance these spring pressures to get the Heimer to read accurately, to come down and hit the zero mark and deflect this to the zero mark at the same time. So you can't set the Heimer with this, okay? That's just how it is. We're gonna turn that block up. We're gonna put another block up here. We've got six inches of block there. And granted, I can measure that with a, with a uh, height gauge and know for a fact I can measure it with calipers. If I had six inch mics, I could uh, measure it with those two to verify, but we're just going to take for granted that it is exactly six inches. So I set this for six inches. I have my tool setter, or my uh, Heimer, Hamer, for uh, work offsets. I have it set as tool number one. I, a lot of people do it at tool, not, tool 99. I'm not sure how, why ever that got started. I don't care. I set mine at tool one. It's just so much easier to for me. So anyway, there's there's one. Now you can see we're only one ten thousandths off the height. Okay, so I don't have to set that, but since I have a green light, I can come over here and set that. And there we go. It's exactly, it, it knows now that it's exactly six inches off the deck. Okay, now when you get down to a tool like this, where it's wide like that, you, I'm almost at the length of my, the full right travel, rightmost travel of my x-axis. So it's easier for me to 
vary my y-axis to uh, measure these, the ones that are uh, don't come down in the center like this. All right, that's dialed to zero. I go over here and I tell it, okay, that's not tool one anymore. That's tool 33 for me. You can see that it's about three thousandths off, 5.9971, uh, so 2.9 thou off. I hit the uh, set tool offset. Now it knows it's exactly six inches. And uh, I move on to the next school tool. That's uh, just keep repeating that. It actually goes really quick with this tool setter. We raise this one up high enough that we can do the next tool. It's tool 70. Pull my Y back somewhere close. All right, I set Mach 3 for 70. Tool number 70. Hit tool offset. Raise the tool back up. On to the next one. Tool 25. And that shear hog was off a little bit, so we'll move this uh, around and then we'll come down. Tool 25. That one's only nine tenths off. Okay. And you, you get into a rhythm, and as a beginner, oh man, I had so much grief with remembering which way to turn the shuttle jog to get it to go up and down. Um, a lot of times I'd use the keyboard to do it because, you know, the left right arrows tell me which way the table's going instead of positive, negative, blah, blah, blah. You know, after you do it a while, you start getting comfortable with which, with which way to go. You know, in the beginning, I broke a bunch of hammer tips. Knock on wood, I don't break that many anymore because I have a better feel for how far I can turn the jog wheel without it racing off. I know which direction to go, blah, blah, blah. You, you get more careful, you get settled down, and everything becomes more predictable. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, you just, it's like with everything else, you know, you, you, you do it enough times, you get used to it, you don't have to worry, uh, or the worry goes away because you're comfortable with doing it.